Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be installing Windows 7 Professional 64-bit onto my MacBook Pro. Uh, this time I'm going to be using Boot Camp Assistant. This is different from my other video uh, using VirtualBox to install a virtualized version of um, Windows 7 to run inside of Mac OS X. Uh, this time what I'll be doing is I'll be partitioning my hard drive, my physical hard drive that I have installed in the machine and uh, partitioning a certain amount of space, basically splitting uh, the hard drive space uh, to allocate uh, to the operating system of uh, Windows 7 and then installing it. So uh, essentially what this is doing is that it, it will run uh, Windows 7 natively on the hard uh, on the hardware um, built into the laptop using all of the hardware to its full potential and this is uh, booting a dual boot system um, into Windows 7 and uh, so you won't be able to use anything on to the uh, to the window uh, Mac OS X side uh, while you're in Windows and vice versa you won't be able to do anything in Windows or be running Windows while you're running Mac OS X you'll have to run them both separately but uh, this is for um, those who want to use basically the full power of your hardware. In the virtualized mode, it doesn't really use the full power of uh, the hardware that's uh, built in. Uh, it works. It works pretty good uh, for what you want to do, but uh, to utilize the you know maximum amount of RAM uh, or uh, the uh, CPU power uh, or the hard drive speed. Uh, all of the resources will be dedicated to its own operating system, which is going to be Windows 7. All right, so that's a little bit about that. Now, uh, to do that, uh, we're going to be using a program called Boot Camp Assistant. This is free and built into Mac OS X. It's uh, in your Applications folder right up here. In your Applications folder, uh, there's a folder called Utilities, and in that folder, there's Boot Camp Assistant. So we'll go ahead and uh, start that up now. There is an option here to print a setup guide, which is a great, helpful um, set of instructions, the complete set of instructions of installing Windows on here. And uh, I suggest uh, printing a copy out because when you're going to be rebooting, you're going to basically be away from Mac OS X, so you're not going to be able to look at this uh, document. Uh, if you have another computer, that's great, or uh, putting it on your mobile device. Um, what you can do is basically print this out here. So if I uh, made it look like I was going to print, uh, basically there's a button here that says save as PDF. So you can basically save it as a PDF here. So here's the installation guide. Um, a lot of great information. I suggest you know downloading this and viewing it, uh, read up on it before you do any of this read up as much as possible. Don't just go by this video because there might be things that um, I've missed. So uh, uh, I'm just going to go through this with what I know, right? And uh, so once you got all that ready to go, we're going to go ahead and click on continue. Now, um, after you install Windows, uh, you're obviously going to need drivers uh, to get Windows to work completely with your MacBook Pro or the hardware, whatever iMac or G5, Intel, Mac, whatever Mac that you have, you're going to need drivers for it. So um, usually drivers for Windows uh, will be on the installation disk that came with your MacBook Pro or iMac or G5, whatever. Um, they'll have uh, the Windows driver, so if you just stuck the, uh, the uh, installation disk that came with your machine, uh, in Windows and it'll pop up and it'll come up with uh, a little auto run and you can start um, installing the drivers and stuff. Now alternatively if you didn't have the installation disk um, you can burn the installation disk um, by downloading it here. So once you click on download it'll download, it'll take a little while depending on the speed of your internet. It'll download then it'll ask for a disk you put in a blank CD or DVD if you want, whatever your choice is. Um, you put in a blank media, it'll burn it to the disk, and then you'll have your copy, your drivers for Windows. And it, we'll be using this uh, later after we get Windows installed. So uh, once you have that, um, 
uh, you can continue on to the next steps. I already got this disc, so I'm just going to say that I already got it. Uh, or I have the installation disc, so I don't need to burn uh, another driver disc. So click on continue now. Okay, so we're at the partitioning of the hard drive, and this is a very delicate operation. It requires some planning, a little bit of planning involved as to how much space you want to give uh, to Windows um, for the installation. So it automatically allocates 20 gigs, but for Windows 7, especially 64-bit, and after all of the, uh, the updates, 20 gigs is not enough. It actually takes up about 20 gigs after all of the updates in Service Pack 1 in Windows 7. So, unfortunately, um, I'll be allocating about 40 gigs. So you just click on this little dot here, and uh, you can slide it and allocate how much space you want to give. Uh, I have a total of 256 gigs, or about roughly 240 gigs of space. So uh, I'm going to allocate just 40 gigs because I'm only going to be doing things like um, just installing no office programs or anything like that, or maybe Word, um, just small programs. Uh, mainly it's going to be for when I make uh, videos on rooting my mobile devices and a lot of the programs and hacks and stuff. Uh, Runs on window or yeah, runs on Windows or at least it's easier to run on Windows. But anyways, that's beside the point. Um, you can allocate the amount of space here, and uh, uh, hopefully I'll be able to make a video too on how to change this later on after you install everything. Uh, once I find out about more and uh, find more information on it, I want to be able to show you how to uh, if you change your mind later on to allocate more space to it. Uh, and uh, another option is to divide it equally so it knows the size total capacity of your hard drive and just splits it down the middle uh, giving one side 125 gigs of space and the other side 125 gigs of space I'm not going to do that because if you notice here uh, my Mac OS X is already taking up quite a bit of space over 100, 115 uh, gigs of space and I only have 100, uh, 13 gigs free if I do that and plus I don't need 125 gigs over in the Windows side. So I'm just going to go back to 40. I'll make it 42, magic number. And then once that's complete, speak now, forever hold your peace. Once you click on partition, splitting the drive now. It's going to take a few minutes depending on the size of your hard drive. All right, so I'm at the Windows installation um, partitioning section here, and yours is probably going to look different. There's going to be a, a spot that says unallocated space, and then 128 megabytes, and then there's going to be uh, uh, a partition called Boot Camp underneath here, and uh, that section you're going to actually want to just click on the Boot Camp uh, partition, and then click on Delete. And so once it deletes it, you end up with this unallocated space of about 40 gigs here. So once you uh, have that, you're going to click on New. We're going to apply all of the allocated space that's given us. And then here we have um, Windows creating a separate partition alongside with our uh, larger partition. This is a boot partition here, so you don't want to touch that, leave that alone. And so uh, we're just going to install onto this uh, this partition down here with our 40 gigs. And so I'll just click on Next. And now the installation process is going to take place. It's going to be about 30 to 40 minutes, so we'll come back once the machine is all booted up and then we'll install the drivers. So the system just rebooted and uh, we're going to go ahead and complete the installation process. Alright, so we're at the desktop now and uh, we're going to go ahead and install the drivers. So we're going to eject the disk, the Windows installation disk that's in there now. Then we're going to put in our drivers disk. And it uh, should pop up with an auto run. All 
All right, so we're at the uh, boot camp installer. Just click on next, agree, next, and install. And now it's going to install the drivers and then reboot. All right, the installation is complete. Now it's going to ask for a restart, so we'll go ahead and restart the system and we'll have a fresh, clean, new Windows 7 installation. All right, so here we have a fresh, clean, new installation of Windows 7. Everything's working. All of the uh, device from the device manager has no problems. right no errors and so by default uh, your MacBook Pro is gonna start up in Windows and uh, to restart what you do is you go to the bottom right here and you click on the boot camp icon and you can go ahead and restart in uh, Mac OS X or you can go to the bootcamp control panel here and this is where you can also um, enable certain things like the remote if you had a remote uh, for your laptop you can enable it here or um, the keyboard where you can uh, specify if you don't want the function keys to adjust like the brightness and uh, you want them to be uh, F1, F2, F all the way to F10 uh, you can click on this here, the trackpad, and you can, uh, you know, do tap to click, dragging, secondary click is the bottom right corner, secondary tab is also uh, two fingers, right, so that's just my own personal preference, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go ahead and restart. Um, alternatively, I'll show you how to also boot this into Windows uh, on the first boot up. So uh, I'll go ahead and just click on restart. And um, when this starts up, what you can do is um, when you hear the chime that you hold down the option key on your keyboard. So just go ahead and hold down the option key and you're presented here with your boot options and uh, here's where you can choose either Windows or Mac and I'll go ahead and choose my Mac hard drive press enter and now you're gonna boot into Mac All right so I hope that uh, was helpful uh, and informative um, please comment rate thumbs up thumbs down uh, the uh, video and uh, as always thanks for watching I'll see you later